Uh, this demonstrates a bi-directional telnet session um, through the Export Pro to the Hamstack. I'm going to open it up with a Apple script. The uh, channel, the first line, the header, and the second line, all the offs, that's coming from the Hamstack. Um, there are 8, 9, 10, 11 keys active on the keyboard. If I hit the, uh, the capital A key, it turns them on, all on. If I hit the capital N key for none, turns them all off. And then each one through eight are individual toggles. Like here I'm hitting the four key. I can toggle that single channel on and off, or I'll hit the two, three, four. I'll hit them all off. N key, A key, and the final key is the reset key, which brings it up in a reset uh, uh, all off channels. Uh, this is just showing that uh, if I hit the one key, I turn that channel on, toggle it on and off. I'm hit the five key on and off. I'm going to hit the capital A all on, the capital N all off. I'm just driving LEDs, but you could easily drive relays with this kind of thing. Here's the same idea with a different program. I'll bring it up with Apple Script. It just has three channels, uh, same keys, uh, one channel one toggles channel one on and off to um, they don't actually turn the voltage measurement off on the hamstack three however does start and stop a binary counter there and like before a is all n is none and then there's a chip reset okay here's the telnet session with the uh, through the export pro with the hamstack three channels if I hit the 3 key on the keyboard, I start the binary count. If I toggle it again, I turn it off. On, it resumes where it was. Off. When it's on, it shows the count. Now, if I hit the R key, the capital R for reset, it'll uh, turn everything off. And then I need to toggle 3 on to start it again. Uh, the keys 1 and 2 toggle um, display of the voltage on and off, uh, but I'm not actually shutting the monitoring on the hamstack on or off, but that would be easy to do.